and we're back and we're gonna open it up this uh, this bad boy the DM uh, DDM 4000 uh, Behringer um, let's go ahead and open it up the old unboxing video on YouTube yes I'm doing it too um, well there you have it uh, it's open um, first and foremost something I really like is that they give you racks for 19 uh, U uh, rack mount stuff and that's really nice because normally these are options and let's face it they're expensive if you buy them separately so that's really nice Behringer and they're very sturdy they're made out of metal I like them and we got the manual it comes with tractor 3 at least the demo CD but one cool thing about that is from what I understand is that it has all the presets for all the MIDI stuff all assigned to uh, the tractor looks like it's in good condition luckily I didn't get a melon or a lemon rather <laughs> melon so let's see what we got we got the global contacts in case I'm in uh, Singapore I know where to call or in case I go to Australia luckily I'll move there sometime in the future then we have the uh, I guess it's some sort of catalog that's kinda cool in case you need a you know some mixers or guitar amps or whatever from Barrager and they make it all those crazy Germans I love Deutschland I used to live in Weimar by the way it's a beautiful place and uh, this is the manual. It doesn't look like it's in English, so it looks like they give you the manual in a couple of lang languages. Ah, here we go. We got German, we got English. This is the one I want. And they have all the, the back, how you cook it up. It's really nice. And they tell you about all the different uh, assignable and all the instructions. I'm probably going to be reading this way into the night. And they also have a printout of the MIDI assignments. Once again, you can assign all these. Really nice. You get a sticker from Behringer. Let's open this up here. It's nice. It's a big ear. And I happen to have big ears, so that kind of... If I just put G over here, they think it's a picture of me. And Tractor 3. Everyone loves Tractor, even though... I bought Serato. I might actually buy the full version of Tractor. And uh, you can see here it says uh, seamlessly integrates. So that's awesome. I definitely want to try Tractor. A lot of people say that's the hotness right now. And since I run Mag, they both run on OS and Tiger. It's nice to put a little bag on the CD so it doesn't scratch. What's this? Ah, they even gave me rack screws. It's awesome definitely come in handy if so I want to put it in a like a case with a rack mount and power supply nice definitely got a bunch of those here with all my computers and stuff but it's nice that they came with that not that any others don't okay and then here it goes Let's open that guy up very well packaged you can see it doesn't have any dents or anything like that. Comes with good old silica gel. Don't eat it. And let's open it up. Here it is. Looks like this plastic bag got a tape right underneath it, so you don't have to actually rip it. You can just put the tape from underneath out. And there are all the connections. This is quite a mixer here. It's really nice. It's got phono on all the different inputs. You can do line as well. You can press them in. Got XLR microphone inputs. Um, 
I'm probably going to get an adapter just because uh, sometimes I like to use my microphone as a, uh, my earphone, sorry, as a microphone in case I don't have a microphone. So I'll probably get an adapter for this guy. Um, here's MIDI. You got MIDI in, out, through, spit if out in case you want to record it or plug it into your home theater system. Tape out, main outs, RCA, subwoofer. It's got a crossover, so you don't need to have a crossover. And let me tell you, I hooked these up to a Mackie once um, with a crossover. And I put the subwoofer out of the Mackie out of this guy. And let me tell you, it was just, it, it thumped so hard. So much more than, than uh, having just going the mains out into the Mackie sub and, and then using the crossover built in there. It was a lot better. So there you have it. This is the mixer really nice um, it's kind of you know what I have to say I've, I've owned a lot of Behringer stuff in the past and uh, even mixers and this one definitely feels like it's built a lot better um, everything from the metal um, I can see the faders faders are really smooth it feels nice um, I'm probably going to replace it Apparently the um, the Inno Fader and the Pro X Fade fits right in, so I can actually um, replace this whole thing and put um, a fader that's even better than the Rain in here, and it'll fit perfectly and it'll be MIDI assignable. These channel faders are very nice; they're very smooth and go. They have some weight to them, not a lot, but. It basically feels very similar to the the Pioneer. So is these buttons. These buttons have some weight in it. They're not flimsy at all. They, they actually have some weight behind them. And I like that a lot. All of them do. You can kind of feel, you kind of get a little, a little, you know, glimpse of the rot rotary feel on these guys. And uh, same with this. So credit for them. They actually use some some nice components to do to the faders very nice so I'm gonna go hook this up and I will uh, assign it all show you how to do that in Serato and hook it up to my Mac as soon as it's done restoring and then we're gonna rock the house okay